Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. So we are going to conduct another video tutorial on PIC 18F microcontroller uh, programming with C language. Uh, in last tutorial, we have discussed a complete C code for a complete application program. So in this specific tutorial, we are going to compile that code with the C18 uh, tool suite in MP lab environment. So this is going to be very first uh, objective of this video tutorial that we are going to uh, compile that specific code in MP lab environment using the C18 tool suite. And then once we have compiled the code, then we will try to implement uh, the specific application which we considered in the last video tutorial in implement that uh, specific application in Proteus environment. So we will be doing the both of these objective in this video tutorial. So let's start our tutorial. First of all, I want to go to the MP lab environment. Okay, that is my desktop and this is the MP lab ID environment that I'm going to use. I have already made a project a development uh, tutorial on MP lab environment, but last time we tried to follow the steps for MP lab uh, for assembly language, assembly language, right? But this is specific tutorial. We are uh, trying to develop it or develop the project from the C language point of view. So this is the MP lab environment that we are going to use. And what you have to do, uh, you know that this is the menu bar. So you have to click on the project wizard, right? This is the basic step, uh, which is going to be similar. So we will click on uh, project wizard. So we will have a welcome note. And here you just need to sure that you are using MPLAB ID. And the next step, next step, next step you are going to use, or uh, you are going to select the device. So this is a very first step, uh, pick 18 F452. This is the IC for which we have, we are basically programming in complete series. So we will be using this IC, uh, but if you are using for any other IC, you can use that, right? So this is the first step, and then just click on the next button. Sometime it takes a while. Okay, now you have to choose the tool suit. Remember in the MP lab environment, when we were doing the project development, you, we were using microchip MPSM tool suit. That was the tool suit that I was using, but now we will switch to microchip C18 tool suit, right? So this is the tool suit or the compiler for which we are, we, we, uh, which we are going to use for C18, right? Or for C language code, right? So this is the compiler that we have chosen and then you have to press next uh, here i want to explain one thing probably uh, once if you if this software is installed in your pc or laptops uh, probably you haven't configured or you haven't downloaded this specific tool suit which is c18 tool suit right so if you want to compile the c code then then you need to download it separately and install it uh, sometime it gives you an option to install here if it is not configured, but for me it is configured, so I don't need to do it. But if you are doing it very first time, so it's quite possible that you need to configure it on this step. Uh, and configuration means the in installation of only that tool suit, right? Which will give you over here an option, right? But for me, it is a installed tool suit, so I am just going to select it uh, in this uh, scroll bar, and I'm just choosing C18 tool suit, and then just have to click the next. Then there is a project name window. Uh, what I have to do, I have to just browse and I have to just say, for example, it is a test project. So let's say test project, right? Remember here, we don't need to use any extension. Uh, so it is going to be just the name of the project. And then you have to just click save. And then you have to press the next button. Here we have a step four and it, it is basically an additional step. If you have already uh, saved somewhere uh, the note file uh, or the notepad file, which you have developed earlier. So you can use here and add it, the, add that specific file in this project. Otherwise it is not needed. So I'm going to skip it and just click next and then press finish. So this is, the, these are the these were the basically st uh, steps that one need to follow to create a uh, MP lab project for C18 environment or for C codes, right? So what I'm going to use, I'm going to add a new file. 
So that would be what source file. So what I'm going to do, okay, this is the basically the menu bar. And again, I'm going to click pr project. And the, in this, there is a specific option, add new file to the project, because I'm going to create a new source file. And this is going to be the name for the source file. So whatever, okay, let's say I'm going to try test dot c because remember this extension is now very much important you have to type dot c because you are going to write the c code uh, or uh, you are going to program the microcontroller in c language so you have to use dot c extension right and then you have to press c okay this is the file that you are going to basically use for the purpose of uh, code in last tutorial i have already written a code so i'm going to use that specific the uh, code i'm just going to copy and paste it here in this environment so that's it so this code is written now i have to just compile it uh, if you have followed my earlier series on mp lab environment you must have uh, you you are known to it uh, but if you are not i will give a uh, i card over here you can go and check it just to uh, follow the steps, but if you have, if you are following it, so there, there is a window of uh, compiling, compiling toolbar. So there is a specific uh, tool available, which is called make. So you have to just press this Mac. Let me uh, move around my cursor. Okay. If you see it, it is written here, make, you have to just press this button make. And once you do it in output window, you see that there were no errors. Your project was successfully built and what does it mean? The project is successfully built means that uh, there was no error and uh, on the same directory in which you have created your project, you have now a hex file available, which you can use in Proteus environment. So that's it from this uh, specific MP lab environment. Now on the backend, we have that .c or .hex file available, which you can burn in Proteus. So let's go to the Proteus environment. I've already created a project in, in Proteus because in this project, uh, in this specific tutorial, I'm not going to discuss how one can use the simple uh, steps to connect the various components, but I want to explain here the project application that we were using in the last video tutorial. So for this, for that tutorial, I've created a basically a scenario here. So let's say, what was the uh, what was the scenario given in the last tutorial? So this is the port C, and you can verify it. There are various switches are connected over here, right? For example, I can show you. Uh, I can change the status of these switches. They can go to from off to on and on to off scenarios, right? And there there was also a situation of uh, another port which was input basically. This is also another input port. So this is also connected to 8-bit uh, switches, right? Uh, I've already created these tutorials, so I'm not going to explain the interconnection, but I'm trying to explain the scenario for the specific application. So now we have two ports, port C and port B, and both of these port D. So both of these are basically input ports and data is being inputted from these 8-bit uh, switches, right? So you can change the data. And then what is going to happen, the application code we have written in the last tutorial is going to end the uh, data coming from the two ports, port C and port D, and the output will be shown on, on the uh, port B, which is this one. You can see that RB0, RB1, RB2, RB3, RB4. So basically these are the output ports and they are connected to output LEDs. So for example, if I have uh, uh, connected it Purely, and I will just say that all of them are on, right? So in C port, all the data is on. And similarly, in D port, all the data is on. How one can see that the switch is on and off? Uh, this is the reason. Look, if you see on button has a black mark, which indicates that uh, this switch is on, right? So if you are going to click like this, for example, on off side, what is going to happen? You see that the switch is now in off mode, right? But I have intentionally turned on, on the LEDs. Next thing, what I have to do, I have to actually build that specific file, right? So what file? Remember the, uh, the, the value of the uh, 
uh, the, the name of the project was test project, right? So I'm gonna click on the uh, on this specific IC. Okay. Click on added properties. Let me show you again. Right click on the IC, then click on added properties, and then you have to choose the test project hex, right? So this is the file, and I will just open it over here and click on OK. Now the code which was we have uh, compiled in C18 uh, through C18 or in MPLAB environment, that hex file is burned into the chip. And now you can just check it whether that specific application is working or not. So I'm going to turn on this play button. And if you see that Okay, if you see that whenever I'm turning uh, on in any of the button, what is going to happen since uh, the port D data is already one, since these switches are on, for example, over here, you can check at that these bits are one. So all of them are basically what one. And, and I just made the port C R C zero pin one, how? How you can do it because by turning it on. If it if since this port C is completely zero because all, all of them are off and port D is completely on because all of them are one, right? Right. So I'm gonna just click on any of the bit and since you see that one and one and both of them are being and and when you pass two ones to through and gate, what is going to happen? Your and gate high, uh, your output will become high, right? Similarly, you can also try one more. Uh, bit, for example, RC4. So if I'm going to turn it on, what is going to happen? You see that that these two bits are basically high in the both ports. So what is going to happen? The output is turned on, right? Similarly, if you turn on them, all of them, so you can eventually see that all the LEDs are on. And if you just make any of the input zero, so what is going to happen? The output will become zero. So that means our code is working correctly. The code I haven't explained here in this tutorial because in last tutorial, I've already discussed the code. In this tutorial, I'm just showing you the practical implementation in Proteus environment. I hope you have understand it. Remember, I haven't discussed these connections because interconnecting the different various components in Proteus environment, I've already made the tutorials on this uh, Proteus environment. But in this specific tutorial, what was my aim uh, to how to build the C18 project in MP lab environment. And that second thing, uh, the validation of the results of the code, which we have created in the last tutorial. So I hope this tutorial was useful for you. Uh, if you have any queries in this tutorial, you can post those queries in comment section. Thank you so much for listening.